These are five creepy and haunted places in Ireland. Number five. The story of Charles Fort is quite the tragedy. It's famously haunted by recent bride Wilful Rorinder. She flung herself to her death from the fort after her groom was killed on the night of their wedding. To make matters worse, her father is the one who shot him. It was during wartime, her father was under the impression that her husband was an intruder. Grief-stricken by his daughter's suicide, he shot himself. Warinder is called the White Lady by locals because whenever she's sighted, she's in her wedding dress. She's often found by children as she wanders the town of Kinsale where she grew up, and she gives them a wave. Usually, she's quite friendly, but there have been reports of people in the fort being pushed down the stairs by her spirit. Number 4. Carrickfergus Castle is located in County Antrim, and has a very significant role in Irish history. Over the years it's been strengthened on numerous occasions, and it's now one of Ireland's most well-preserved medieval castles. There are several different ghosts who are said to haunt Carrickfergus Castle, but one of the most well-known is Buttoncap. Buttoncap is the name given to the spirit of a young soldier who would have been stationed at the castle during the 18th century. He was accused of having an affair with the wife of his captain's brother and was executed for it. However, he protests his innocence even to this day, and can be heard wailing his protests if you listen closely. He has also been glimpsed on occasions near the castle's well. Number 3. Ross Castle This five-bedroom stone castle built in 1536 is currently run as a B&B. Visitors have reported supernatural activity both inside and outside the castle. Apparently, every May Day for hundreds of years, a medieval knight named O'Donoghue rides past the castle accompanied by a group of spirits who play music behind him. Inside the castle, visitors have reported waking up in the middle of the night to screams, or doors repeatedly opening and slamming shut. One of the spirits is believed to be Miles the Slasher O'Reilly, an Irish folk hero who spent his last night in Ross Castle before dying in battle in 1644. Number 2. One of the oldest castles in Ireland, Malahide Castle is apparently haunted by at least five ghosts. Walter Hussey, Miles Corbett, Lord Chief Justice and his wife, but most notably the castle's jester, Puck of Malahide. Word had got out that Puck had fallen in love with one of the prisoners, and within days he was found mysteriously stabbed to death outside the castle. As the story goes, with his last dying breath, Puck made a promise that he'd haunt the castle. There have been quite a few sightings of the jester's ghost, and he often appears in photographs. Number 1. Loftus Hall is a mansion located on Hook Peninsula which is said to be haunted by a very dark entity. The story goes that one fateful stormy night, Sir Charles Tottingham was hosting a card game at Loftus Hall when a stranger knocked the door. The man was soaked through and was seeking shelter. Tottingham ushered the stranger inside and invited him to join the game. However, one of the ladies dropped her cards during the game, and as she bent to retrieve them from under the table, she discovered that the stranger had blood-soaked cloven hoofs instead of feet. The stranger they had invited in was in fact the devil. Upon his discovery, he is said to have revealed his true form to those gathered, and then shot through the roof. It's said that his presence can still be felt at Loftus Hall to this day, and that Satan haunts the mansion. So that was 5 Haunted Places in Ireland. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.